Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick demo on how easy it is to use a VPN to encrypt all your internet traffic and hide yourself online. This will make you anonymous as you'll be hiding behind many different IP addresses shared with other people. So no one will know who you are. First of all, the VPN software service that uh, come out best in all of my testing so far has been IP Vanish. They provide excellent encryption with 256-bit encryption. Uh, this makes it virtually impossible for hackers or the government to decrypt whatever you're sending over the internet. Uh, and so what happens is when you connect to the VPN, which is as simple as clicking the icon on your desktop, then it just opens up the app and you can just connect straight away. It's that simple. Um, now what this does is it encrypts everything that you send over the internet between you and the VPN server. So not even your ISP will know what you're doing and they won't know how much you're downloading, what you're downloading, what you're sending. So you can actually bypass throttles on your, on your internet speed sometimes. Um, now as well, IP Vanish have excellent anonymity. Uh, they have a no logs policy, so none of your user data or anything is logged while connecting to the servers which is excellent and also this uh, by hiding bet behind all of the 14,000 IP addresses they have uh, which is shared with other people also uh, you are be in a different location every time you use it so and you get to pick the location that it appears that you're coming from because an IP address is, is it's sent out or broadcasted by your network telling the other person where your physical address is this is broadcasting my IP, IP address from Copenhagen. So whenever I'm using the internet now, all the websites I visit, it's, they're seeing my IP address and they can tell exactly where I am. Now on top of that, um, IP Vanish also accept Bitcoin for payment, which makes it even more anonymous. And also for those of you, of you out there that are using the Tor browser, to access the deep web or anything like that, well then a VPN is, you should be using a VPN either on top of the Tor or before the Tor. So you can either connect to a VPN first and then Tor, or you can use the Tor and then the VPN. Uh, because lately uh, some of the ISPs, internet service providers such as Comcast, have been monitoring who's using Tor, because they can see if you're actually using Tor, and then they've been banning those people because they're assuming that you're doing something illegal, which is just ridiculous. But so there are people monitoring if you are using Tor. So a VPN, if you're using one, and then Tor, they won't have a clue that you're using Tor. Um, so now, yes, IP Vanish perform the best. They uh, have excellent speeds. You can start it up and you hardly lose any speed at all. Sometimes you gain speed. So it makes streaming... Uh, effortless. Uh, you can stream on um, Netflix or on or on YouTube without buffering. Um, Anonymity is great. As I was saying, the install is so easy. It's just one click and then the whole app is installed on your PC or Mac. Um, you can use it on your all your mobile devices. So your iPhone, your Android phone, your iPad. You can even install it on a router if you like and then every, everything that's using the internet will be all on that one plan and you can use the one plan on multiple uh, devices the configuration is extremely simple on this some of the VPNs are quite hard to uh, install and, and configure but this is just one click uh, and the support's great as well first of all in the app you have the protocols that you can use to connect open VPN is the best because it's the most secure and encrypted and here you can select the location you would like to connect to. IP Vanish has some of the best server selection you can get. Here you have more ways to select your server location to connect to. You can choose by the fastest server. You can choose for best for US media or gaming. UK and Canada, same thing. So if you're playing games within the US, you can connect by this and it will make it the quickest it can. Uh, same as if you're outside the US and you want to stream Netflix or Hulu or something like that, well then you just use this one. It will get you the quickest one for that purpose. So then you can watch US Netflix, which has a lot, lot, uh, lot more current content and it's at a much cheaper rate. 
same as if you want to watch BBC or you want to watch the ice hockey in Canada or the sports in the US, you just connect to one of these. Also, you should note that it, once if you do get a VPN and you're ever and you're outside the US and you're ever purchasing a game online or airline tickets or software or anything, if you connect to the US, if it's a US company, well then you're usually going to pay a cheap price. For instance, Microsoft, uh, Adobe, uh, all of those, even games on Xbox Live. Uh, if you connect to the US, you'll see you'll get a cheaper price. It's crazy, um, and you can also have different IP addresses every certain amount of minutes if you like. But okay, for this instance, we'll go and we'll just connect to the Netherlands. So we'll change my country from Denmark to the Netherlands. What we do is click. It only takes a few seconds to connect, usually. Uh, see, it's already connected. Now it's just organizing me a new IP address. So now I have a new IP address, which is this one, and it appears that I'm coming from the Netherlands. So I'll open up my browser. I'll go to what is my IP address dot com. See now it looks as though I'm coming from Amsterdam in the Netherlands when I'm actually coming from Denmark. So that's just how easy it is to hide your IP, become anonymous, and encrypt all of your internet traffic to protect your information from hackers network administrators, even the government from spying on you. It makes it a lot, lot harder. So I hope you've enjoyed this demo. And there are other VPNs that are also quite good for different purposes. You just want to make sure that their privacy policies uh, don't uh, promote the logging of your data. Uh, some of them can be tr quite tricky. That's if, if you're worried about that type of thing. If you're only worried about just getting speed and watching movies and stuff, well, then you won't have to worry about that so much.